Okay, so what you just seen was um, some close-up pictures of the the Raw Dog Tactical um, holster. Um, I was contacted by a lady named Kristen from uh, Raw Dog Tactical uh, asking me to do a review on this. So that's what I'm doing. So um, how the video is going to go is you just seen pictures of what it looks like obviously uh, I'm going to show you some pictures of what it looks like on concealed with a couple different outfits or whatever and then um, we'll go to a short tabletop just going over some of the features and then from there we'll actually go out and uh, we'll try this holster on uh, at the range we'll do some dry fire we'll do some live fire from there we'll go over um, pros and cons of this holster because there's a lot of pros but there is a couple cons and that's that's any system that you have um so let's uh go ahead and let's reel in some uh close-up pictures of this thing on and we'll pursue on with the uh the review So here we go with the opening the package from the raw dog tactical holster uh, one of the nice things as you can see here uh, Kristen that I actually spoke to from raw dog that uh, contacted me to do this review uh, she actually hand wrote on the package which is you know kind of nice you don't get that too often anymore uh, so what you're going to get inside is your holster you get a little decal and you get some extra hardware here um, I'm assuming this is going to be for your retention and stuff and probably just some extras to have which is very nice so now let's go over some of the features of this holster you have a one clip design for easy on easy off and you can fully adjust your degree of cant also integrated adjustable retention screws added hardware to adjust your retention a deep concealment design to minimize printing 10 ounces of high quality English bridal leather a combat cut to get that perfect purchase every draw and when choosing your holster you will have multiple color kydex options to choose from these holsters are made in Texas. They will ship with a 30 day money back guarantee. They also hold a lifetime warranty. So here we go. We finally made it to the range. We're gonna be testing the Raw Dog Tactical holster with the G2. Um, gonna start out with um, some dry fire. Um, whenever you're doing something like this and you get a new holster <clears throat> If things bad are going to happen, it's going to be better if you have no rounds in the in the magazine or in the chamber uh, You snap caps or just dry fire it um, so Tip new holster no live fire until you're completely 100% confident that the holster or your rig is not going to cause an AD or you have a problem or there's a snag or something bad happens it's better to do it with an empty gun so we're going to try that first and then we're going to move on to some uh, some actual live fire <clears throat> just going to be coming out one shot out of the holster just to see how it draws just to see how it reholsters um, and then I will give you my final thoughts on this holster because Although it's really, really good in a lot of areas, there it has some downsides to it too. And right up front, I want to apologize for any wind noise that you guys might be uh, experiencing through the video. It is super windy today. Um, so, no further ado, let's get this thing going.
All right, I'm pretty confident that I'm back on the map, so I got my ears in and my eyes on them. And uh, we My final thoughts on the uh, Raw Dog Tactical uh, holster. This one just so happens to be molded for the G2 Taurus. Um, my overall thoughts on this, I think this is a great, great concept. Um, you know, you're taking the comfort of leather against your skin with the security of Kydex. Um, <clears throat> So I think it's a really great idea, and I think this company is going to be highly successful. Because um, one of the major complaints I've been concealed carrying legally for the past four years, and you know I carry a hard shell Kydex. Well, there are certain cases where um, you know it does rub against your skin kind of hard. So having this leather back, uh, you know, I think is great, and also you got the retention and stuff from the Kydex. So I think this company will be highly successful with this idea. Now, with that said, there are cons to this system as well. Uh, well, not necessarily to the system, but to this holster. They are a new company, um, so I think there's some kinks and stuff they probably need to work out. One, when I got this holster, it had a major arch up through here, okay? And it came down about right here in my grip. Well, whenever you would grab the gun, you had that leather arch um, basically just gouging right into you. Made it difficult to get the purchase on the gun. So, as you can see, what I done was I just took a Sharpie marker, um, traced it out, and I just, I just cut it and uh, buffed it and everything. Um, and as you can see, I even went a little higher down here just so that when I... Um, go grab it get my purchase there's no interference from this leather so I think that's something that they can work on um, right now by looking at their pictures it looks like it's just a generic cut that they just just an arch that they just cut on all their holsters I think that needs to be a little more customizable should we say take a little extra time cut it to the gun um, two this back they use we can't tell it now um this back they use the rougher side of the leather as you can see that's smooth very smooth and shiny untreated that's the way it came this was very rough um two treatments of um leather conditioning aka vaseline and um you know it softened it right up so maybe that's something they might be able to do from the factory 
if not, I don't think it's really a big deal. Maybe just put a note in there. Hey, you know, kind of treat your uh, your leather or whatnot. Let it set in there. My only other complaint is see if I can get a good good look at it. So you see how that clip hangs off? Uh, as you can see, I'll put my finger right here on the slide. So you see how much of that clip hangs off? Okay, I took this over to my Kydex guy, which is uh, his name is Scott. He uh, he owns uh, the company called Three Eye Holster. He's here local in my town. I took this over to him just to see what he had to say. And you know, all in all, I mean, he said it was a decent holster for the price. I mean, forty bucks. You know, um, he's like, how you know, how can you go wrong? Um, but he did point out a couple things. The one thing he pointed out to me was, see how much that hangs off. He said, what you will wind up getting or could wind up getting is this actually um, your belt popping off this holster. Um, he said what they what he usually does is he will move his clip a little higher up and not put such a, a degree of cant on this so that way the full clip is resting on the slide in the frame uh, mold part there for the uh, for the gun. Um, and then he's like he pointed out how thin the Kydex is. Um, he uses really, really thick stuff. He uh, he uh, is a really, really perfectionist guy. Like, everything has to be perfect. But all in all, he said, I mean, it's $40. You got leather. You got the hardware. He's like, he, he really can't understand how they're making any money off of it. So, I mean, that's good for us. That's buying the stuff. So, um, I will put a link in the description for this. This is a holster that I recommend, even with what I said. There's no system that's going to be perfect, and I am a stickler, should we say? Yeah, I've been concealed carrying legally, like I said, for the past four years, so I'm kind of set in my ways with certain things. But I can definitely see this being a viable option if I decided to carry this gun. Um, I think it's a great holster, and uh, I, I recommend it. I'm going to put the the um, the link in the description I'm not getting paid by them guys this is my true recommendation the only thing they did was send me out a free holster to try out and uh, you will see this in further videos uh, with just me just doing random stuff to this gun you'll see this in further videos so I will be keeping this holster and I might wind up trying a couple more I carry my MMP shield, my MMP shield every day and uh, you know I thinking about trying this so um, <clears throat> Raw Dog Tactical. If you're uh, if you're watching this, I carry an MMP shield, right-handed inside the waistband, and I like black. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Uh, any comments below? I'll try to help you out the best as I can. And uh, like always, I appreciate everything you guys do with supporting this channel. And uh, look for further videos on the Taurus PT111. Thanks for watching.